Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my best start guide for Fallout New Vegas. This guide aims to give you the best start by providing a lot of caps, weapons and armour early on. To follow most of this guide, you're going to need the Lonesome Road DLC installed. Additionally, the Mercenary or Courier Stash DLC pack will help as well as you get the Mercenary Grenade Launcher at the start. As always, there are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip to a particular section, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with special stats. I normally take my charisma all the way down to 1 as there is only 2 perks in the entire game that relies on charisma. They are ferocious loyalty and animal friend, both of which I never personally pick. I have 8 into strength to meet the requirements of certain weapons to wield them accurately, 8 into endurance to increase my hit points and to allow my player to have multiple implants at the New Vegas Medical Clinic, and 8 into intelligence for the boost into repair and science as well as more skill points to distribute when leveling up. Next up with tag skills I choose lockpick, repair and science. You will need these to get through a lot of locked content. For the traits I normally go with good natured for the bonus of 5 into barter, medicine, repair, science and speech. And for the second either kamikaze for the additional action point boost or wild wasteland in order to get the alien blaster later in the game. After finishing your skills and the introduction make sure to raid everything in Doc Mitchell's house. There are some medical items, a laser pistol, some ammo, a magazine and some reading glasses to take. Next, head to the saloon and speak to Sunny Smiles about learning to survive. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they've done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. She will give you a free varmint rifle. The sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? That's the right idea. Look down, start crouching down, nice shot. You can head through the tutorial if you wish, but you don't need to. I only go up to the geckos for the XP and ammo. After finishing up the tutorial, head back to the saloon and speak to Trudy. There is an exploit where you can get to max level straight away, but I will leave that for another video. Ask to fix her broken radio, which you can do- So it looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. And she will reward you with 50 caps. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Next, ask her about the situation with Ringo and ask where he is. Head to the gas station and speak to Ringo and ask about helping him with the powder gangers. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Speak to Sunny Smiles about helping him. Say no more. I'm in. And head back to Ringo to start the battle. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Kill all the powder gangers and loot all of their valuables. You will be given 100 caps for helping Ringo and become idolized by Good Springs. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain. When you level up, put all of your points into lockpick. Next, head to Lone Wolf Radio and head inside to gather components. You'll need one scrap electronics, two sensor modules, and three scrap metal in total. Next, head to Prim and head into the Sheriff's Office. On the floor next to the corpse of the Sheriff and his wife will be the Sheriff's Duster and Hat. You'll need to pick these up before completing My Kind of Town or they will despawn from the game. The Duster is its own unique item and has no DR or DT, however grants a bonus of 5 into guns. The Hat also has a DR of 0 but grants a bonus of 1 into perception. Next head into the Bison Steve Hotel and make your way through all of the convicts. There is some good loot in this hotel as well as on the enemies. Speak to Deputy Beagle and rescue him. Oh that's just marvellous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Speak to him outside and talk about bringing law back to Prim. There are three ways to do this, but the easiest is to head into the Vicky and Vance Casino and reprogram Prim Slim to become Sheriff. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! Next, head into the Mojave Express and on the table will be Eddie. Interact with him and choose the repair option and choose to use components to fix him. After grabbing Eddie, head to the Canyon Wreckage, which is the start of the Lonesome Road DLC. Before entering, tell Eddie to head back to Prim and then continue onwards. Head into the Hopeville Missile Silo, follow the bunker around until you come to a room with an eye bot in a container. On the left hand side will be the Arc Welder as well as some ammo. Unlock Eddie from the pod where he will unlock a commissary which serves as a shop. These shops never run out of caps, if you sell a lot of items and there is no more caps in the commissary, simply leave the bunker and re-enter and the caps will auto-fill to around 6,000 caps. 
Next, take the left path and unlock Hydraulics Access Level 3 to find a H&H &H Neo Gun. Outside of this room will be a destroyed iBot and on its corpse will be the first of 5 Eddie upgrades. This one allows Eddie to repair whatever current weapon you're holding once every 13 hours. This means just by waiting you can make every weapon to 100 condition for free. When gathering and collecting weapons don't repair them with other versions just use Eddie's upgrade. Continue for the bunker and try and hack every terminal you find to shut down most of the security. If you have to fight the sentry bots make use of the grenade launchers that you got from Courier's stash if you have it installed. Continue through the bunker until you come to the corpse of General Retzlav. On his corpse will be the US Army General outfit. This is its own unique armour and has a DT of 1. The armour also grants a bonus of 10 into speech and 5 into guns. Continue through to the other room where you can find 2 more arc welders to repair using Eddie. Before leaving the bunker, head into the room where the two sentry bots came from and in a locker on the right hand side will be a piece of US Army combat armour. This armour has a DT of 18 and grants a bonus of 3 into guns and 2 into survival. Next, exit the bunker into Hopeville and make your way to the Hopeville West entrance. Nearby will be a marked man who will always have a tribune laser rifle as well as another with a hunting revolver. Make sure to loot these weapons. Next, head into the building and take out the marked men. Inside the first room on the left will be a second Eddie upgrade. This allows Eddie to craft 20 microfusion cells every 13 hours which the tribune rifle uses. Essentially, you now have unlimited microfusion cells. In the next room, pick the hardlock safe to loot the armoury codes. Next, head out of the building and make your way to the armoury just a short ways down. Unlock the armoury using the terminal and head inside. There is quite a lot of loot here, but the most important is inside two lockers. Each of these lockers contains some riot gear and riot gear helmet. The riot gear has a DT of 20 and provides a bonus of 5 into guns as well as 1 into agility. The helmet has a DT of 4 and provides a bonus of 1 into perception. The helmet also provides improved visibility between 6pm and 6am when this player is sneaking. Next head back to a commissary within the bunker and have Eddie repair every weapon you've collected. When you're ready you can sell as much of the gear you don't want to the commissary. After selling everything I didn't want I came out with just over 30,000 caps. Once you're done you can head back to the Mojave and if you grab Eddie from Prim all the upgrades you gathered from Lonesome Road will carry over which Eddie can now use. Now you're all equipped and ready to start your journey into the Mojave. I hope you found this video helpful and as always thank you for watching.